When you're working in A&E or perhaps on a cardiology board, you may uh, hear about ischemic ECG changes, and there are plenty of different ECG changes that are associated with ischemia. It's important to know that in isolation, some of these changes can be difficult to interpret. However, in patients presenting with cardiac sounding chest pain, they should be taken very seriously. The classical ischemic changes that are used in the, in the categorization of MIs include ST elevation and ST depression. A new left bundle branch block in the context of chest pain is interpreted as a STEMI equivalent and should be managed accordingly. The presence of dynamic T-wave inversion in the context of chest pain can be suggestive of myocardial ischemia. The T-wave inversion can also be a normal variant in some healthy individuals. So the meaning of dynamic is that they are either actively evolving during uh, the assessment that you are doing, or if you compare um, their current ECG with previous ECGs, you notice that the T-wave inversions are new. Wellen syndrome refers to biphasic or deeply inverted T-waves in V1 and V2, which is usually associated with critical LAD stenosis. Pathological Q-waves are deep Q-waves that are suggestive of previous myocardial infarction.